Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Okay, so let's click Ctrl P. Let me find Jumper and then our custom debugger. So we can see the area. Sorry, let's try it again. Okay, and let's go there. <laughs> so, battle started. And if we hit the delete key, then the battle will end. And as you can see, we have another two things to fix. One if uh, it returns from the battle with the uh, sword on the hand, which is not uh, what we wanted. And as well, uh, the enemy is still there. So this can create uh, a loop, like uh, if he ever touches the sword again, he will uh, execute the battle once again. So, as you can see, that's what happened. So let's try to fix that one now. Ctrl P to stop play mode. And the first thing what we want to do is go to the to jumper prefab. Uh, so let me see where we have it. Characters, enemies, jumper. Let's open up the prefab, and in the battle component, we actually need to set to use scene ID. That will allow us um, to keep track of this battle component on which scene was executed and therefore it won't be executed here again all right so let's uh, save the prefab and uh, let's save the scene again and what we need to do now to avoid keeping the sword uh, drawn after the battle is uh, go to the event the battle start event and if you remember from previous videos, if we open the ORC framework, we had um, control maps. So we have the Sith weapon control map, and we were setting some variables. So it's battle instance, and uh, I believe it was another one, which is uh, weapon drone. So let's check it out in the animator battle instance stance and here in the orc framework we were running the control map is executing a global event see the weapon global so if we go to the game settings to check this global event sorry world global event Sith weapon this is the event so let's click on it so it will be pinged where it is and what if we were to click edit game event since we already have the editor open it will do nothing so let's close it up the event and now we can click edit event and we have here the to run the animation and then switch this uh, game variables weapon run so what we need to do is uh, in our battle start event and battle uh, sorry battle end event to uh, call this uh, or change this variable again all right so let's do that okay so now we are here in the event editor let's open up our open battle and event battle 
uh, event so we change the music and before loading the scene we can do this uh, switch well we already have this change game variable so in battle so let's just add a couple of more there add game variable and the value is going to be weapon drone this is a bool and we set it to false by leaving this value unchecked and then uh, we also have another one with was is battle stance also a bool and we leave it as well unchecked let's save the event so this this uh, these two variables weapon drone actually is the equipment viewer that are that are looking or checking these variables whether to um, instantiate the sword in the back or in the hand if you remember from our previous video so let's uh, we save the event and let's give it one more try so let's click ctrl p to start play mode and let's go to jumper and let's start the battle okay so we press delete key to end the battle okay so jumper still here okay I know what happened here is that it's not a, it's not the battle component but actually it's the spawner so we have the combatant spawner here and it is set to not use the scene ID so let's tick on that one yep and let's save the changes in the scene ctrl p to go to play mode again have another error about the head tracking for the uh, the point uh, of interest that we created in hope and that's because we have our um, it's called the, the, the script that we created what is it oh sorry let me Stop this one and we have it in the org game started we have the game instance and this script is uh, trying to do a don't destroy on load but since it is um, is not the root of the game object is not allowed to so what we can do is uh, put it outside this um, this uh, game object so let's create a empty one again let's call it game instance remember this is just for testing and debugging that we are going to do this so let's copy this script copy component paste component as new and we can tag this game object again as editor only so we make sure that we, when we build the game this uh, game object will be removed uh, this is all this only uh, works with um, no prefab game objects prefabs are not going to be deleted so uh, take that in consideration and from here we can just remove it remove component okay let's save the changes okay so let's debug this game instance ctrl p to start play mode And if we go to the game instance uh, under the don't destroy load, we can see the elements. Uh, 
which is lining right now what is what is expected let's go into battle so again this object is not destroyed and you can see here that this uh, character was registered automatically but now we are getting two empty elements so if we were returning to the scene we get the error now we have another one and it's missing point of interest so hope is trying to find uh, the point of interest it was uh, looking after in the first place so let's try to do a quick fix to this uh, check here by opening the script actually let me stop play mode and let's go back to the script and let's just add a quick check here if our point of interest is null equals null then we just continue to the next one continue to the next one there we go later on we need to be smarter in the way how to register uh, how, to, how lining is being registered to this list and uh, do some cleanup to avoid having these um, uh, null instances or null elements in the list okay but for now let's just keep it at like that and let's try it again a lot of bug fixing today so let's go to the battle <laughs> let's finish okay no errors perfect okay so I don't know if you noticed that after we finished the battle the end battle theme started to play so we need to show now the victory dialogue or some some sort of wait until we get to the to the the current scene that we started the battle so for that we need to revisit first of all the enemy combatant <laughs> 